Hello and welcome back. It is great to see you back here again. I am today answering some questions. This is going to be uh, linear equations. And um, I believe it's uh, Hakeem Ahmed um, uh, asked me to go ahead and take a look at this in order to help out understanding. This is going to be eighth grade math. And we're going to look at four different uh, equations, four different questions today. Uh, talk through it. And I'll try to give you... Uh, my my sort of ideas on uh, how I process it and how I answer the questions. I'm also trying to get some um, uh, currency here from Shipwreck uh, from uh, Skywatch. So let's go ahead and get started. I love it when there are a bunch of different uh, types all in the same battle. So this is going to be a fun one. All right, so we're going to look at this one. It's quite small. It says a cereal factory has already used 54 and fourths. Uh, kilograms of almonds today. The new batch of cereal uses 5.4 kilograms of almonds. Construct an equation that represents the total weight of almonds used based on the number of batches made. All right, so we are going to A equals what? B plus something or another. So use fractions or decimals as given in, in the question. Let the total weight of almonds used be represented by A. So this is the total that uh, almonds used for that day. Let the number of batches of cereal be represented by B. So we are going to figure out um, what this is if we make 33 batches, um, what our total almonds are going to be used. So we've already used 54 fourths almonds today. The new batch of cereal uses 5.4 kilograms. So each batch is gonna use 5.4 kilograms, right? And then this, we've already used 54 fourths. And we're going to type it just like this. Uh, the fractions have to be fractions. The decimals have to be decimals. Now we are going to be solving for 33 batches. So now that we have this information, we're just kind of bringing it down and sort of plugging in that information. So 5.4 batches or 5.4 kilograms per batch. So there's going to be 33 batches. It says right here. So our B is going to be batches plus the 54 fourths that we already used today, right? So now all we have to do is just break out our calculator and go ahead and multiply and add. So first we're going to start out with uh, 5.4 times 33. That's going to equal 178.2 plus 54 fourths. And that is going to equal 191.7. So this is going to be our answer. It should be correct. And basically what I did was I just saw this information, how much each batch uses, what we've already used today. What we've already used today is what's going to be added to it in order to total out. And then that is the correct answer. All right. So let's go ahead and do our astral storm here. And there we go. These can be kind of tricky. Really, basically, what you're doing is just trying to figure out which information goes in w what place and then uh, figuring out what you're solving for. In Prodigy, Luigi's inventory weighs 18.6 grams. He is collecting old socks, which each weigh 20 40th grams. Uh, construct an equation that represents the total weight of Luigi's inventory based on how many old socks he collects. So his inventory already weighs that. So we're going to be adding 18.6 to whatever, however many grams. The sock, each sock weighs 20 fourths of a gram. So we're going to go ahead and 20 fourths of a gram. The sock is what we'll multiply. So if he gets 15 socks, 16 socks, then we're going to put this number in, multiply the weight of one sock with the 16 socks. And then we are solving for I, which is the weight of his inventory. So this is how much his inventory already weighs. And then after our sock collecting spree, we're going to figure out how much it is. And it's going to be 16. So now we're going to go ahead and just multiply across. And I can go ahead and simplify if it's easy for me to simplify. So I have uh, 20 fourths. I know that that is going to be 5. 5 times 4 is 20. So 5 times 16 will give me 80. 80. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure I hit the equal sign there. All right. So 80 plus 18 divided by 6, 80, uh, which would be 3. That's going to be 83. 
So 83 grams is how heavy the inventory is now. Woohoo! So really what you want to do is just sort of find out what you uh, have. I use this, this sort of style. It's not something that you just learn and sort of throw away. And the better you are at it, the easier your life can be. One of the ways that I use it often is in projects. If I'm uh, buying dirt, if I'm uh, building something around the house, if I'm trying to... Uh, even fit stuff in closets or spaces or something like that. I'll see how much I have, how much room I have, other spaces like that. And um, with knowing the numbers, it seems to be easier for me to go ahead and get stuff in where it needs to be. So this th this is pretty good practice for the rest of your life. And having something of something, needing to get more of that thing, and trying to figure out how much you how much more you need, so you don't have to go and do something else to get it, is just sort of one of the things in life. All right, so this is going to be going through talking about Jason and his cans of paint. He already used this much. Each chair used an insane amount of paint. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, P be the cans of paint used, C be the chairs painted, and this is the equation that we go get. Now they've already given us the equations. So all we need to do really is put our 43 into here. And so we're multiplying 7 and 18 ninths times 43 plus this number right here, plus 2.34. Now, in order to make this easier, I am going to go ahead and actually simplify this. 18 ninths is 2. So really, this is 9 times 43. Um, and so 9 times 43 is where we're going to start out. With the fraction, they're trying to mess, mess you up a little bit, which in 8th grade math, they really should be. So um, uh, kudos to them, because you should be thinking your way through the problem, doing those breaths, doing whatever you got to do to align your chakras to pop out the right answer. And so 389.34. And there we go. Whew, it had that little pause. I was like, did I do it right? Did I? Did I? And I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and smash here. And then we'll get one more question in before. So we will be able to go ahead and get that crate as long as I get these last two questions correct. I hope this, this walkthrough process is helping you. Really what you're doing is you're looking at how you're going to plug things into the equation. Um, because as, as you're finding these, this information in these equations, oh, I, I didn't need to do that. So we'll get into one more battle. And then we'll answer the last two questions. Um, so uh, as you go about it, um, what you're doing is you are... All right, got some arrows. Good. Um, and we'll head on back here. Let's play. Okay, so, so what you're doing when you when you do this is um, uh, your, the equation represents your needs. And so you're basically solving for your needs based on the information you have. And um, the equation just represents what you need, what information you have to get out of, uh, out of it in order to make your life easier. All right, so a t-shirt company has already made $1.80 this week. Each t-shirt they sell makes them $1.50, and they want to make over $22.80 this week. So we're gonna, this is an inequality uh, that represents how many shirts they need to sell to meet their goal. So the T is T-shirts, and so how many T-shirts do they have to be to meet their goal? So they want to make over $22.80. So the money that they make, they want it to be larger than $22.8, $22.80. And so we already have each T-shirt they sell makes them $1.50. So $1.50 per T-shirt. And then they've already made $1.80. So they sold, I don't know, what, like an extra fifth of a t-shirt or something? Um, so T equals what? So we're solving for T. So as we do this, we're going to have, we're going to subtract 1.8. So this side of the equation is going to be subtracted 1.8. So that's going to be 21 on this side. And then 1.5 T. So we're going to divide so that we can get our T 1.5 and 1.5. Now looking at this, I'm going to say, once we divide by, it's like a, looks like a backward two there. 1.5. I'm going to say it's what? Let's see. 21 divided by 1.5. 14. Okay, I was going to say about 15, but 14. 
is going to be uh, they have to make at least greater than 14 t-shirts so it would be 15 t-shirts that they would have to manufacture in order to meet their goal and so that's sort of their planning on um, what they're going to do with that I don't want to finish this battle so go ahead and do that we should have one more question let me know if this is helping you seeing it worked out and hearing my thoughts on how I would do it okay so we're here with square roots um, uh, so I, 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 I believe that was the last question that we were actually going to be looking at. Let me know what you think about this. Square root of uh, 125x is going to be 5. 5 times 5 is... No, that's not... 5 is above 2. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25. 20... Huh? To rewrite a square or cube, we take the... Huh? All right, I got a little cocky there, didn't I? All right, so I guess what we're doing here is we're using this button here. They've given us a fancy button, and we're gonna do 125. There we go, we're not breaking it all the way down. That's cool, this is the, that's the first time I've had that question, and I have all of the gems and stuff like that. So there's always something new to know, there's always something new to figure out, so that is great. And if you don't get stuff right the first time, that is okay. Okay, so we are going to have to do our um, cube root of 1,000. The answer would be 10, but woohoo! And so now I show understanding of this. That's awesome. Um, okay, so yeah, take care. Keep on prodiging on. If there is stuff that you would like for me to answer, please do let me know. Um, I love helping. Hopefully this is helpful. If you would like me to explain a little bit better, then I definitely can. That was more of a walkthrough through the problem. Um, but this is something that mentally you will use and you will construct equations in your head regularly. And so I think having that as a framework is extremely helpful. Um, so let me know um, and I will be looking forward to seeing you guys back here sometime soon. If there is something you are struggling with, I would love to help out and I would love to uh, uh, try to explain it in a way that is beneficial for you. Okay, keep on prodiging on. We'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, thanks for all all of the likes, the subscriptions, and the comments. Let's keep on having fun, guys, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.